Chaos Control! Hello everyone, my name is Jordan the Hedgehog and welcome back to Persona 3 Fest. Last time, we had just finished up the story of the Journey side on Persona 3 Fest. Now we are about to start the answer. Uh, I'm not too sure what to do here. Am I supposed to like, click on a load game for the answer or just do new game. I'm gonna say that I just load game to see. Okay, no. I don't have any data. This option allows you to find out what happens after the events of the main story of Persona 3. We recommend that players finish the journey before playing this chapter. The combat difficulty is also higher in this chapter compared to the normal storyline. Enjoy the increased challenge. This ordeal. It may be that we brought it upon ourselves. that a future exists, and being able to access it, are very different things. We did not understand such an obvious and natural principle yet. Indeed, we understood very little. We knew nothing about using the key to open the path to the future. What the heck is going on? Everyone's fighting one another! Some time before the incident. March 31st, 2010. 1.30 p.m. Hello? Yukari? Uh, Yukari-chan. It's me. Um, are you coming today? Oh, uh... Didn't you see the message I left on the board? I have cram school today. I know, but... I left all the stuff at the dorm, so I don't have to be there in person, right? I suppose not, but... Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Oh, sorry. Break's almost over. I gotta go. Tell everyone I said hi, okay? I wonder what's going on. If people are still, like, hanging out in the dorm or not. There's Mitsuru, Junpei. Yukari-chan's not coming after all. Ken and Komo. What's going on, exactly? Sonata-san said he's busy at the gym, so I doubt he'll be here in time either. In time for what? Man, what's up with those two? Dorm's closing down today. With all our memories of this place, you'd think they'd want to see it off, right? 
Uh, I mean, their education, their fitness, I guess. Probably a little bit more important. Oh, don't worry, Koamaru. It's gonna be okay. It can't be helped. They just see things differently. Everyone started down their own chosen path. It's a good thing. My thoughts exactly, Mitsuru. You're right. I can hardly blame them. They seem to get busier and busier. If I didn't have to reclaim these, I might not have made it either. Wait, reclaim? What? What do you mean? The evokers? The... Sashes? Everything about the Dark Hour you're talking about? So we finally gotta give up our evokers. Well, I mean, there's no Dark Hour, so there's no reason to keep hold of it. Right, Junpei? I hate to let it go, but it's not like I got a use for it anymore. Let's see, two, four... Wait, how many are there supposed to be? Well, how many are there? I guess. I guess. Oh, isn't that... I believe this is all of them. Is that last one... mine? Huh? You had one too, I guess, son? I'd forgotten. You had his for safekeeping. Ah. Okay. It's a good thing they do still rem remember me. Hey, come on. Don't get all gloomy again. I don't think that's the way you would have wanted to see this end. I'm sorry. You're right. We all said our goodbyes to him. But I still wonder... Why did it happen? The doctors didn't find anything wrong with him afterward. It just seemed like he fell asleep, didn't it? So, yeah, pretty much I did die. He must have used up all his power to protect us at that last battle. <laughs> it's useless to try and guess at the reasons why. I'm certain he didn't blame anybody for what happened. I had my reasons for what I had to do. Yeah, I chance got that right. Hey, but I'm glad to see you're still hanging in there, I guess. Back then, it was like he was all you could think about. I'm somewhat surprised as well. About what? It's possible that I will not feel the full impact until I am alone tomorrow at the lab. Huh. Huh? The lab? Are you planning to commute to school from there next semester? Oh, no, I... I guess is returning herself to the lab tomorrow. She won't be enrolled as a senior. Seriously? Why? Can't she stay in school like before? Well... The decision was mine. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I enjoyed being with you all, but I need to find my own way of life. Oh... But you can come visit me anytime. I guess. You gonna go back to Yakushima or? Think of it as a new beginning for her. Anyway, we seem to have gotten on the wrong track, but today's not meant to be a sad occasion. I've ordered excellent sushi for us all. The same as before, actually. Oh, nice. We may not have been able to get everyone together, but we should all have dinner here tonight. 
Oh, you call me and... That, that would be great. Akihiko make it in time, though? You got that sushi again? Sweet! No objections here. You're gonna join us, right, I guess? Of course. I couldn't miss spending time with you all. There's one thing I never questioned about Aikis. She is a robot. But she can eat food. How does that make sense exactly? Uh, don't question the logic about robo uh, robotics, I guess. The number of apathy syndrome cases is down from last month, which seems to mark an end to the strange illness. <laughs> yeah, all thanks to me and my team. However, surveys show that the number of people who report serious stress in everyday life has not decreased. According to research carried out by the Ministry of Health and Welfare, Oh, when did it get so late? What time is it? It's almost midnight. It's hard to believe we've spent the evening doing nothing. Sitting here like this reminds me of those days. Perhaps that's why. I think I can understand. I have so many memories of this lounge that I find myself spending time here for no reason. It's the same for me. When I'm here, I think about when we were still fighting. It's strange, since my memories of that time are more painful than happy. Well, all that stuff aside, doesn't something feel weird to you guys? I'll be walking around and people act like as long as they're happy right now, nothing else matters. Those stupid stories that Strega spread around are still out there, you know? It makes me think... Is this what we almost died to protect? Are you saying people don't know how good they have it? <laughs> You're sounding like an old man. Hey, who asked you? That's out of our hands, I'm afraid. We prevented the fall, but we can't reform society. That's about yeah, as much as we yes, could do. But still. The world is that, as the, the world weather. is. At the tone, the time will be midnight. What was that? Huh? Midnight. It can't be. Is it the dark hour again? But are the electronics out? Nah, everything's fine out there. If it's not the dark hour, what was that? Wait, the news. Hmm? Good evening. It is now March 31st. Here's a recap of the news from the 30th. The 31st was yesterday, right? Did the anchor misread the date? Wait, wait, hold on. Did we just repeat the 31st? Hey, is that all? Uh, I'm not so sure about this. Even they make mistakes every once in a while. It's nothing. Weird. My cell says it's the 31st, too. Hmm? Well, looks like a false alarm. You sure about that? So far, I'd agree. I don't think so. But something felt... off. What's going on? <sighs> it's late. We should call it a night. What a lame finish to our last day in the dorm. 
Um, would it be all right if I returned to my room? I have to prepare to move tomorrow. Sure. Good night, I guess. Night. I'd best contact Yukari and Akihiko, just in case. I wonder what we're gonna learn. An hour later in Igus' womb. When I close my eyes, I remember the last moment I spent with him. The day he fell asleep, we brought him back to our dorm, fear beginning to well up within us. And the next morning, our fears became reality, and he was lost to us. For some time after that, I fell into depression, and began seeing the same dream, night after night. A dream where I run after him, calling his name, but can never catch up. When he was alive, I promised to protect him, and I made that my reason for living. That promise is gone. Unfulfilled. Then, one day, my sadness suddenly left me, as if a prison door had swung open. I stopped dreaming, and I no longer required sleep. Wait, that makes no sense. How does a robot need sleep? A robot is sufficiently requiring, like, power, electricity, energy. I mean, unless she's the kind who needs to shut down. It's no use. I can't sleep. I've had a few days like that before, I guess. It is no fun. Can I really continue living like this? Uh, uh, I, I don't know what to tell you, I guess. A butterfly! Huh? Is it an invitation to the Velvet Room? A butterfly? Does the does that butterfly represent me or Huh? Huh? What's going on? What was that? I guess are you awake? Yes, I am. The door is open. I guess we need you. Has something happened? It's not another enemy, is it? What it's is hard it? to describe. The lobby floor opened up and... Uh, anyway, we need to hurry to the lounge. There's an... Understood. There's an enemy in the lounge. Come to think of it, the day my dream stopped, that must have been when the incident actually began. You mean the day I died? Is that when the dream stopped, or...? Huh? What's this? What the...? Everyone! That was a basement?! Keep your guard up, I guess. It doesn't seem human. Oh, yeah, I've... 
That was gonna be my next notice. That thing obviously looks similar to Igis. What the heck is on the face? It looks like... Are they wings or is that meant to represent a butterfly as well? It looks like a butterfly mask in a way. Kinda like Lucina's mask from Fire Emblem Awakening! <laughs> a shadow? No, this is... No, nah, it's not a shadow, it's clearly... It can't be. The same model as me? It's the same model as her! But I thought Igis was the only model left! How is this one... functioning? I guess. Huh? Sorry I'm late. Is everyone okay? Huh? Fuka? Yes, for now. What's going on? I need you to provide backup for I guess. How are you able to chat? Do you have like walkie talkies or something? Alright. Who are you? Why are you doing this? I'm Metis. I've come to protect you. Huh? Protect I guess. Protect me? Huh? These people pose a threat to you. That is why they will be eliminated. Excuse me? What are you saying? I won't let you hurt them. Then I have no choice. For your sake, I'll have to force you to back down. Who even are you? Is this where I get to play as Igis? Oh, perfect! We got the Strega theme! You must stand aside! What is that? She's wielding a mace? Or... Persona! We're gonna start off with a Suku Kaja. What happened to all of Ike's good skills though? Fatal end! Ooh. She also said Psyche. What does that mean? Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Um, let's see. Light strike. Uh, medium strike damage to one foe. Okay, obviously kill one. How does Ike still have her persona? It's because she's. Don't resist, and I won't hurt you. It's because she's a robot. That. I I guess that kind of makes sense. Some of the logic there. But also some of the logic doesn't. Ow. Do I have any? I've got three revival beads, five medicine. I need your help. <laughs> ah. Careful, the enemy's strong against light. Okay. Resist light and dark. Has no weaknesses though. Is hesitating? Huh? Don't miss. Hesitating again. Don't miss. Please, don't resist. I'm not resisting. You're the one who's trying to hurt everyone. Again, hesitating. Don't miss. Alright, Metis, why don't you start telling us... Level 20?! Why is Igus at level 20? 11,000 and free experience points. I mean, that's great and all. But how did Igus get reduced to level 20? I had her in like... the 80s, I think.
Well, at least we got some more hit points. Level 25. A boost of five levels. Courage, fearless, charm, kind-hearted. A academics needs work. <laughs> oh, that is fitting. That is fitting if I've ever... Much oh. stronger than expected. I have no choice. Huh? Is this... Is that... Orgeo mode? was my persona! I just summoned my persona! I don't believe it! I guess has awakened to a new power. Athena has metamorph metamorphosed into Orpheus. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Ah, a very rare guest indeed. Are you a simulacrum or in fact human? <laughs> it seems your destiny is similar to mine. What? Um, where am I? Who are you? Ah, oh, forgive my manners. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Igor, and this is Elizabeth, my assistant. This is truly amazing. I guess is now a visitor to the Velvet Room. She not only inherited my persona, she must have been... She must have inherited my powers in a way. We reside in this velvet room. Pleased to meet you. 
This place exists between mind and matter, a room for those who have forged a contract. But, wait, n I guess, I guess never forged any contract. Yes, in awakening to the power of the wild god, you are now bound to a contract. Oh, because she has my persona? That's the contract? From this moment forth, you are our guest in the Velvet Womb. Wild card? The fool is the wild card, right? Surely you know of which I speak. The ability to hold multiple personas and wield their powers. Until recently, a young man with the same talent was our guest here. You... know of him? Indeed I do. He achieved a marvelous thing. Reaching the answer to life. The answer to life? The power you have gained is a means to attain that answer. This answer, if I reach it, would it mean my death? All who live journey in search of the answer, and they reach it at the journey's end. But, uh, wait, hold on. Oh, man, I... Oh, jeez, I'm getting confused a little bit. I'm currently in the answer, though. So, I guess his journey is not yet finished, I guess. Is that what this is? Is that what he's meaning? If you have close ties to people you call friends, remember this. Strength of heart, when united, is barred by no door. It was the same for that young man. And that is all I can tell you. Well, I shouldn't keep you here any longer. The beginning of your ordeal awaits. What was that? <sighs> that feeling again. It's the same clock I saw. I am certain you will require our help in the future. Please, take this. Is it the key to the Velvet Room? Yeah, it's the Velvet Key. It would be best if you came here of your own free will next time. Until then, farewell. Goodbye for now, Eagle. I once made a choice to live. So much has happened to me since that decision. If this power is a sign that I'm drawing closer to life, does it mean that the answer at the end of the journey is... death? No, that can't be for Igis. I was surprised at the time to discover how little the possibility bothered me. Oh, I guess there's some new gear. Oh. What's what's with the new gear, anyways? Come on. up. You really scared us, collapsing like that. Yukari-san. 
I came because Mitsuru Senpai called for me just in case. And I get caught up in this? Give me a break. I'm sorry to have worried you. That's a good thing she now notices. What's all this? While I was fixing your body, I added some additional equipment. Okay. I found some strange things under the floor. There was no sign that you would wake up, so instead of waiting, we tried everything we could. I see. So you just assumed that putting all of this on her would wake her up. Still sucks though, getting bossed around by her like that. Who? That strange girl said if you want to protect Igis, you should put that on her. Okay. But what if that was what she wanted? What if it was a trap? Okay, she's tied up. Neat. Yo, looks like you've been through a lot. It's good to see you again, Akihiko. No worries here, though. She's on her best behavior now. <sighs> so, she also awake too? Looks like it. I guess she wasn't lying after all. Anyway, she can't cause any trouble now. We have our evokers this time. So, wait, does everyone also still have their persona powers? What do you gotta bust things up like that for? I mean, today's my turn to clean the place. Hey, quit with the silent treatment and say something. She actually is asleep. Are you serious? You were sleeping all this time? It opened. I, uh... You look pretty comfy there. I ain't afraid of no humans, huh? It, it's just, I was tired after going into Orgia mode. Oh. Did you cooperate with them in order to help me? The reason I came here in the first place was to protect you. These restraints aren't necessary. I won't attack anymore. No one is going to believe you if you don't explain why. It's... It's because I thought... You wouldn't like me. Huh? Hmm. Let's release her. I don't know if she can be trusted, but I believe she has no intention of fighting us. Besides which, if she has the same parameters as I do, the chains will not hold her anyway. Yeah, saw that coming. Huh? And these friggin' non-stop shifts were for nothing? First, tell me who you are and your purpose in being here. I'm Metis. As you can see, you and I are practically siblings. Yeah, that's what I'm curious to know. Why are you sisters? And as for my purpose? It's simply to save you, my only sister. Uh, what? That's it? From this hopeless situation. What hopeless situation? What? Hopeless situation? Did... something happen while I was asleep? How long was I asleep, anyway? 
Since our battle ended, I'd say about a day and a half has passed. But it's still the same date. Yet today is still March 31st. Do you know something about this Metis? Tomorrow, and all the days after it, <coughs> will also be March 31st. At this rate, it will last forever. Okay. At least you've explained why it's happening. Do you at least know how we can fix it? Didn't you feel it? The moment when time skipped? Okay, well maybe she didn't explain fully why, but she's explaining some of the reason. Skipped? Do you mean what we felt at midnight? Then... Are you saying that the same day is repeating itself? Yep, that is what she's saying. That's not all. We haven't been able to leave the dorm since this morning. Wait, what do you mean? That makes two ways we're trapped here. What? No. But why? What's going on? The abyss of time below us is causing a space-time distortion. Okay, so that's the reason. Abyss... of time? It's difficult to explain. It may be easier to show you. Let's take a look-see. the way. Please follow me. Hey! Who elected you mayor? Oh, so you wouldn't want to go. Okay, please, by all means, but Yukari. I will allow you to go first. Whoa. This has been under the what? dorm? The whole time? Or was it just... How has this even existed? This is the Abyss of Time. It's an uncharted territory that probably spreads beneath this area like a tree's roots. Well, that is what time... can do. It can branch out into... alternate timelines. How could something like this have appeared under the lounge? Has, how long has this been here? At first, the abyss of time was a small thing. Then, without warning, it began to spread out and formed a connection to your dorm. Oh, okay, so it's not... It hasn't been here this whole time, it just... Wherever the root of the problem is, it just eventually latched on to the basement of the dormitory. It's clear just by looking at it that this place was not man-made. Clearly. I mean, look how desolate this place is. There's literally nothing. No life, no... Probably even no time that's passing either, maybe. It might be the product of some dangerous power, the way Tartarus was. Yeah, but where do we go to find where the Abyss of Time is really making a mess of things? Jeez, haven't we had enough of that kind of stuff by now? Hey, at least we'll get to experience our Persona powers one last time. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not sure I can explain it. But the flow of time here is not normal. The reason why time is skipping and why you can't leave the dorm is most certainly due to that effect. The only way to survive is to somehow find a way to eradicate the abyss of time. Eradicate it? How are we supposed to do that? Well, first we gotta find it. As for how? Probably our persona powers. I've already tried the simplest, most direct way. 
eliminating all of you. Okay. Th that's completely unnecessary, Metis. The abyss of time connected to this storm as if drawn to it. That, together with the way you can all perceive the time skips, it seems clear to me that you have a lot to do with the reason for this happening. I don't think that's the reason at all. They just... <laughs> Everybody just has unique persona powers, okay? That's com It's completely unrela unrelated to... Uh, to time distortions and such. So that's why you attacked? In order to eliminate us? What the hell? We, we've never even heard of this place before. If there is another way, we can only find it by entering the abyss. And where's the entrance? Is it to that door over there? Or was it the one behind you? You'll have to discover the cause and strike at its source. So you want us to investigate it under the assumption that we'll have to fight? That's why I insisted on the extra equipment to protect Aegis. Wait, is this a joke? <laughs> Does this sound like a joke, Yukari? Are you seriously telling us to go back to the way things were when Tartarus was around? Never mind that. How are we supposed to believe whatever you say and jump in there blind? If you have a better plan, let's hear it. First, the basement of your dorm, then the time skips, and now you can't reach the outside world. If we can't leave the dorm, how will we eat? Oh, I never realized that. If we're stuck here for long enough and we run out of food, are we going to starve to death? No! If the current situation continues, your lives may all be in danger. What I'm asking you to do is the only way for you all to survive. Naturally, we all want to survive. But you first appear to us as an enemy. You must understand that we can't entrust our lives to you. I'm not even buying your reason for being here. You say you want to protect Aegis, but what's in it for you? In it? <laughs> I'm doing this because I care about her. For heaven's sake, she's my only sister! About that, your claim doesn't fit the facts. Aegis was the last of her series, and none of her model were produced afterwards. To hear you talk, it sounds like you've been in this abyss of time from the start. That bothers me. You said this is uncharted territory, unconnected to the outside world, am I correct? Uh, th that's... Oh, sheesh. Looks like Mitsuru might have hit the nail... Uh, the, na the hammer on the nail, or whatever. Nah, nail on the head, that's it. Aren't you supposed to be a weapon anyway? How do you square that with attacking us to save Aegis? That's... I... um... Well, we're waiting. Hope you've got a good answer. Because if you're stringing us along, we're not gonna let you get away with it. D enough about me! What good is any of this supposed to do you? I thought I told you, there's no time to waste. Now follow me. Or are you going to give up so soon? Because if you are, you should have let me kill you in the first place. What did you just say? It may be true that we have no choice but to enter here. But if you continue to act this way, we'll have to go on without you. Huh? Without me? 
You can't possibly... I, I know the most about the Abyss! You need me! And... Okay, now she's just sounding desperate. Hey, you don't get to decide that. Fighting would put all of our lives at risk. If that's the way you think of my friends, I can't go with you. But... Ah, uh, too bad. Well, have fun here all alone, okay? Uh, all... alone? Maybe we should finish her off now, so she can't backstab us. We don't have to go that far. I think that's a bit unnecessary, Hakihiko. I mean, she's given us relevant information. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you, I guess. I'll listen to you from now on. I will. Please don't leave me. It's, it's too late to get all weepy. But maybe it's true that all she wants really is to protect Aigisan. Well, Senpai, do we take her along or not? Because if this is our only choice, I just want to hurry up and get it over with. Man, pushy. As always, aren't you, Yukari? Listen to me, everyone. It seems that once again, we will have to investigate and there will be battle involved. I've been thinking it over, and I believe Igis should take command. If someone with the power to change personas is in charge, we can proceed the same way as before. And if you, as leader, approve, I have no issue with Metis accompanying us. Mitsuru san. If you wish to protect me, you must fight to protect us all. Hurting my friends will not be tolerated. Do you promise? Better not come back to bite us in the ass. Hey, I guess. Since Mitsuru Senpai just mentioned it, what's up with you suddenly having his power? <laughs> I really don't know. When I thought we might lose someone else, I became scared, and suddenly. Metis, was it? Do you know anything about this? I just met her. How would I know? Anyway, if you already know someone with that same power, why not just ask him? <sighs> if we're going back into combat, this clothing won't do. Well, you and me are still GeckoCon students until that magic degree comes in the mail. <laughs> Sorry to trouble you, Yamagishi, but could you retrieve the armbands from the command room? Of course. So is everyone gonna grab the GeckoCon uniforms once again? Oh, and the things we found when the floor opened up. I'll look into them once I have a chance. Maybe I can learn something. All right, let's get back upstairs. Um, I guess? I promise to listen to what you say. So, could I... Call you sister?
Go right ahead. The mysterious space that's appeared, the abyss of time. Until you find the reason for its presence, you'll be unable to leave the dorm. You must begin investigating at once. So, do I have control yet? Alright, everyone seems ready. I'll be supervising the investigation and assigning each of you your roles. For now, I'm going to concentrate on finding any documents similar to the ones we found in the basement. So, we're splitting up? Well, I suppose you are the only one who knows where to find that stuff. I'll try to rejoin the group the moment I find what I'm looking for. I'd ask. I'd also like a second team to handle another task. Someone has to look around to see if the Abyss of Time is connected to any other places than the door. We have no way of estimating how long we'll be in this situation, so a stable supply route is crucial. Hey, wouldn't Kumamawa's nails make him perfect for a job like that? I mean, if there's food or anything in, out there, he'll sniff it out. That's right, boy. Me and Koamaru are gonna find an exit lickety split. Very well. I leave it to you two. That's that then. Yoi, Koamaru, and myself will go our separate ways for now. The main investigation will be up to the west of you, with Igis taking point. Igis, I'm counting on you. Oh, I see. Am I able to save? Yes, I can save. Good. Well, this has actually been very interesting. Since from considering we've started the answer. A new mystery, new things are, are happening, and I guess has apparently a sister. But with that all said and done, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Persona 3 Fest. Until then, take care. Chaos Control!